Excel. No, I don't think Excel would have done We'd love to, we just don't quite have the time. Jeff, Jeff from Excel wants it too. Uh, pin, get, here's a pinch for another one. What, what was that little thing that they said? Have you ever heard that little phrase? Larry Dodd, you've heard that before. Uh, a pinch for a there's a birthday thing. Kay, what is this? Help me out. Pinch for every year. A pinch. Yeah, but there's oh, a little. Hey, now wait a minute. It rhymes. W R V A. Come on, crowd. Let's hear a little bit here. Yeah, there we go. It's all in 75th birthday. Lots of special people visiting. The hill will come alive in about 15 minutes as we uh, have a big outdoor party. And uh, Larry Dodd. The Larry other, Dodd the other overshoes. Goodness gracious, you haven't changed a bit, Larry. You're looking great. Good to see you, LD. Oh, and you haven't either. I, I woke up this morning, turned the radio on. The first voice I heard was Wayne Lemon. I thought I'd fall into I some that. reverse time war. Wasn't <laughs> um, well, that good to hear Wayne? And then it, it occurred to me that uh, I had gotten a little car thing to your birthday. So uh -huh. I thought I was on my way to Patrick. Oh, thank you. Pat, 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 my memory sort of kicked in. I, I remember being here and how we, uh, and now the children used to sit around and listen to the stories that you would tell. One of my favorites was Edward R. Murrow uh, yeah. apparently fed the network here. And I, I remember you and Lyle Bradley telling the story uh, that he sat down and, and was ready to go on the air and he said, get me a decent chair, get the chair all the way across the studio and I had to go to the executive office get that chair to sit in. Uh, <laughs> Murrow wanted the chair, period. And he got it, apparently. Yeah. But uh, I enjoyed, I uh, still remember coming in here at quarter five uh, uh, in the morning, meeting you. Uh, with any luck by the time of your age, I'll forget it. But uh, I do still, <laughs> still remember that. One stop by on the way to work for you. Uh, wish you a very, very happy uh, birthday. Uh, you're the old man I know that has uh, been 46 years without a real job. Oh, uh, 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 listen to him! <laughs> No Oscars. <laughs> well, <a> real job. <laughs> it does beat work, doesn't it? It's uh, it's great to have you with us here, Larry Dunn. Well, thanks a lot. I got time, but uh, I want to come by and say happy birthday. Well, Larry, thank you very much. You heard Larry say he had a fix new bottle. You're working for Virginia Department of Transportation now, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, you keep us informed how they're doing, but they've got a lot of roads to take care of, buddy. Fifty-five thousand. That's right. I, I've learned that time. <laughs> Quit. You're making progress. Quit Baldwin's needs to take oh, a, look yeah. at a couple of those uh, aforementioned highways on his next report here. And then a special guest uh, from our nation's capital. Good deal. Glad you made it. Okay. That's fine. Uh, are you able to take a call? He's got it. Okay, same time. They're building a total of 48 maintenance-free golf villas. 11 were sold right away. An additional seven were reserved last month. You really should come by on Saturday or Sunday between 10 and 6 and see them. If your dream is to create life on the edge of a great golf course, then see the golf villas at the fairways and window. Take 64 West to 225 and take the Knuckles Road exit north. Follow the golf ball signs to the fairways model. It'll be a great day to get your teed off and be happy. But hurry, by Monday someone else could be living in your dream. The fairways at Wyndham, represented by Snyder Hunt Realty and built by Eagle Construction, an equal housing opportunity. On WRVA, it's all in the 75th birthday, and from Washington, D.C., former Richmonder, and he gets down here occasionally, Charlie McDowell from Times Square. Oh, my goodness, old neighbor. Thank you, Charles. How you doing? Goodness, good. Well, we're having a ball down here. They pulled a surprise on me, and I tell you, it just hadn't quit yet. Where and I'm enjoying every minute of it. That's right. Great old town, this Richmond VA, isn't it? Uh-huh. Right. Mad Mountain. <laughs> yeah. Is that right? Oh dear. Yeah. Oh my. Sure. No kidding. How about that? I think that's wonderful. <laughs> How about that? Thank you. 
Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, what a place you've been! Be. You've been down there, haven't you? Did you go down there to visit? Can you hang on a second, Charlie? We got to do a quick break here for the business concerns of the world, and we'll get back to you. Man. Can you hang on? Good. Charlie McDowell from Washington, Ole Nero from Richmond, Virginia, and this report from Wall Street, presented by Mercer Rug and Carpet Sales on WRVA Tendall's Tip. In the lake. General report: More firings and some backfires. Yeah, Charlie Lee behind the here. tails. Uh, These days, not sure. many Richmond companies oh, have been serving customers for more than Charles Oh man! Oh, 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 man. Mercer Rug plans again. Good, dependable, courteous service. Tim, Mercer specializes in the cleaning and repair of rugs and carpets with a complete rug repair service. They'll sew up loose rugs, cut a rug, and get a different room, make Max it out. How you doing, Max? Good to see you, sir. Mercer cleans walls, walls, and beautifully in your home or in your office. And oh, it's fast, what up? Interstate 95 southbound heavy oh, home no. moving from Chiefland Avenue over past Bryant Park Park in the downtown area. Okay. 64 inbound from the west end. That's very, very heavy. All travel lanes available. No accident. Next time you come to town. All right. Thanks very much, Charlie. Have a good day, Charlie. Bye -bye. Six minutes away from 8 o'clock in the morning on WRVA. Thank you. Charlie McDowell had a little ride when we went down from Berkeley around the Seven Days Battles in helicopters, five of them. We got lost. <laughs> we, we finally made it back to Malvern Hill, and I told V. Dabney, uh, I had some good things to wait for him down in our basement. He said, let's go right on down. That's an inspired thought. <laughs> That's some of that rebel yell down there. All right, Berkeley. And Berkeley. Oh, that's, 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 that's good stuff. That's right. That's great. Berkeley Plantation. Mac Jamison, I, I, I tell your story so many times about how wonderfully you have restored that plantation and kept it alive. And it's a great credit to you, sir. Well, thank you so much. A living much. monument to you. It's your end. It's yeah, just, Tim has done his part, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we did a little uh, little work back there. Sure. Is that show still still rolling down there in the basement? Oh, yeah. yeah. Is it really it going? Are the slides green? <laughs> <laughs> Tim made the slides for Berkeley. And hundreds of thousands of people have seen it, too. That's it's right. It's been a great uh, value to us. Uh, it's a wonderful uh, piece of Virginia history that's oh, been it's uh, very, very lovingly restored and maintained. Still a working farm, still got the nursery going with uh, uh, Jamie and everything. Working hard. Jamie's fine. He comes to work a little late. That's all right. Well, that's all right. He's, He's going to have his day. That's for sure. We got some nice uh, crepe myrtles and red buds that were uh, that were hatched out there on the grounds of Berkeley that are doing real some, well. In I got some Deodora cedars down there. Oh, we we have a little all of my boxwood have been my favorite. That's right. Johnny Appleseed never planted as many apple trees. We don't have boxwood. That's, That's for true. sure. Mac Jamison from Berkeley, thanks for driving Thank by and saying hi. Both. Don't go anywhere. We got a big party that's starting in just a few minutes outside. We've got a lot of nice food and a lot of friends. A lot of folks for you to meet that you know. You bet. And we're going to be moving our broadcast outside uh, after the okay. 8 o'clock news. So anybody's on their way to work, just come on in and uh, we're, okay. we're celebrating here 22nd Grace. Actually, the parking is 18th and Broad, and they'll shuttle you right on up here as we okay. celebrate all in 75th. More to come. It's three and a half to eight on WRBA. <laughs> Top tier. That's right. Shop tier. Now I'm going to have to wait an old neighbor of ours. This is 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 an old neighbor of ours. <laughs> no, you don't kiss me. I shake your hand because you're one, all right, one right. of the most admired men in this uh, whole area, Alton Aero. Thank you. Corey Deeds and Jay Hamilton and Betty Bodine from the Q Zoo are our neighbors down the hall for a long time now. And uh, it's going to be sorry to see you go, actually. <laughs> let's, let's you know something together. we don't? Let's get together. <laughs> After today's show on the FM, he might. You know. <laughs> well, you know, Alton, Alton uh, taught us the ropes when we got here, you know, where the coffee machine That's is. That's right. Had to Square get out the parking lot but you're behind on your payments. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he blackmailed us. No That's money, right. no coffee. That's grinds. right. I mean, 15 cents a cup. Well, you guys, uh, I mean, what do we, you know, how do we, 
pay pro proper respect to uh, someone who has taught us so much. We got the stripper out in the hall. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Thank goodness. Well, I was okay. hoping that that would happen. We've yeah. had a lot of fun with Q, and I tell you, it's been wonderful to watch them grow. And, yeah. And the things that, oh, the things they get into are great. <laughs> and now, of course, you've got some new management there, and I think you all want to go great guns. We wish you well. Any parting thoughts? Because we got to break the news. Yeah, it's his. We've got to hit the road. Uh, yeah, I, I yeah. think after all these years, it's finally time to give him a raise, don't you? Don't you? <laughs> yeah. That's, that's yeah. right. <laughs> Scare me. Yeah. All of happy birthday. Yes. Thank you. You're the greatest. Here's to another 75. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to pick up our bags and uh, move outside. Pam Overstreet will take over the helm here, and we're going to go out and wander through the crowds, and who knows who we'll stumble upon as we uh, go through this 75th anniversary of his of his first birthday with all the Good to have you with us. With Baldwin. Uh, you and I bridge very slow getting across the bridge back to Cherokee, then carry a bridge out back to the stoplight at the River Road Shopping uh -huh. Center. Powell Hyde Parkway toll class is slowing down to the Chippenham Power. I'm going to rich with this exactly 8 o'clock.
Certificate of Recognition. By virtue of the authority vested by the Constitution and the Governor of the Commonwealth of Virginia, the reserve by officially recognized by the Nero, Richmond and WRBA radio legend, whose reporting and commentary, style and humor, so reports and wake up calls have kept listeners alert and smiling on time, in time, and with the times for over 47 years. Now, therefore, I, Lance Douglas Father, Governor, do hereby recognize all the neighbor and extend my best wishes to him for the very happiest of birthdays. And his son, Lawrence Douglas Father, Governor. All right. All right. Great for Governor Wilde. I do appreciate that. Beautifully framed. That would be good. Mr. Dean, I believe, has uh, another personal honor. Good morning. Good to see you. I guess uh, next longest in tenure to uh, our honoree today, Lou Dean. I, too, have a proclamation, and this comes from the mayor of the city of Richmond. And it says, whereas Albany has been entertaining Richmonders on WRBA since 1946, and whereas all the neighborhood has been the first person most Richmonders hear when they turn on the radio in the morning for over 37 years, becoming a fixture and almost a member of the family of Richmond homes, and whereas all the neighborhood has become the official school closer in bad weather, some people say the schools or businesses isn't closed until Alden says it is, and whereas all the neighborhood has actively worked for many public service agencies in Richmond and also promoted them and many other such groups on the radio. And whereas Alden co-founded the WRVA Shoe Fund and along with other WRVA personalities has raised over $3.6 million for needy children in the Richmond area since 1968. 
Now, therefore, I, Walter T. Kenny, mayor of the city of Richmond, on the occasion of Alden Abrams' 75th birthday, do hereby proclaim Wednesday, May the 5th, 1993, as Alden A. Road Day, and urge all Richmond citizens to join me in this recognition. Thank you. All right. Very nice. That's a great thank you, sir. And uh, please, the things that one will always cherish. That's pretty decent. Oh, that's right. Now, if you got room, I don't know. <laughs> and our hey. station manager, Carl McNeil, joins us now. Carl, how you doing? I'm doing great, Tim. What a what a lovely day we have here, Mr. Aero. <laughs> nice Sorry about the rain. That's all right. It's clearing up here. Uh, and if you're on the way up here, please continue to come. I think it's going to clear off, and we have a great day. I am uh, all of it's once in a lifetime opportunity for me to present something to um, a person like you who's meant so much to the community and has done so much for WRBA and will continue to do that in the years to come. And we at the staff at RDA had a meeting uh, three or four weeks ago when we were planning this party and we couldn't think of a present to give you for your birthday. Oh no. Oh no. So, unfortunately. <laughs> So uh, John Harding came up with a wonderful idea that we all agree with, that we would give you something that would make your name live in Richmond history forever. Um, 25 years ago, you and John Tansy started the WRVA Shoe Fund, and since that time, you have uh, raised over three and a half million dollars for the Salvation Army to buy over a quarter of a million pairs of shoes for kids. And I'm sure as we speak right now, there are many kids out there that are grown up oh, that yeah. you bought shoes for. So we decided that it would be, be appropriate to change the name of the WRVA Shoe Fund to the Alden A. Road Shoe Fund. Henceforth, whenever the shoe fund is mentioned on WRVA, it will be called the, w, the, the Alden A. Road Shoe Fund for as long as we all are around, which will be forever. Thank you, Alden, for all your efforts, and we love you. Thank you, Carl. I think that's the one. And I'm sure you want to try to come back. been a great deal of work for all the people who have sent in Dollars, five dollars, fifty dollars, hundred dollars. It's so wonderful to be able to pass it on, and uh, it's a great thing that we've been able to do. How about that? That's good stuff. We have, we have uh, we had to do some business as usual today, and uh, from a little bit different perspective here, at about uh, twenty minutes after eight o'clock in the morning, it's time to take a look at rush hour from Church Hill. Here's where the hall went with the scouts. Thank you very much, Mr. Timberlake. Right now, you know things are very crowded down here on Church Hill. We're supposed to come to Alden Hero seventy fifth anniversary. But plenty of parking available, so don't hesitate. But we do have some delays 64 in the West End as you come into Bryant Park and also 95 this morning due to the rain that was once here, but as you know, it's now gone. Thanks, Tim. Thank you, Whit. Great job. Pretty lucky ride. Isn't that nice? I'll come up here and get a close look at uh, Whit's new, new Jet Ranger on. That's a beauty, though. That's a beauty. And the boss cowboy colors on there. He's riding on. We're going to sit on the hill again. If you'd like to come out, we're going to be here until 10 o'clock. Uh, and the show boss is bringing out. Got some real nice food. We need to go talk to Charlie Brock because he brought some. How old are you now? What was it? Uh, Reagan said the 36th anniversary of my 39th birthday. The only thing older than you is Harvey Hudson's jokes. Oh, that's right. Where's Harvey? I wish he was here. You look delicious. I'm glad to, glad to be here. I love your, your show and I listen to you. And always go respect you. You deserve it. Well, thank you. I'm pretty sure to miss you, Dick. Good to see you. And as always, you're looking fine, too. Hey, Coach, Dan, what's your head? I think John Hill's here. He's having to be something funny. We've been enjoying his weather reports uh, for some time. Hey, John. 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 H
here, which uh, indicates that we have passed a resolution indicating that we least consider the University of Nashville that today is All Monero Day. And here's a little copy of our resolution. Thank you so much. Congratulations. That's wonderful. Thank you very much. It's good to see you. Thank you for keeping an eye on the clouds over Sue Pollard over there. Suzanne Pestamali, come over here. This is going to be fun to say. Happy birthday, all of us. Always good to see you. We're back farther than anybody. Yeah, we sure do. We go back to year one back here. At 1946, least. we're working here at RDA, and so we are. Right. And that's uh, what she was saying to me. I'm glad of that. I hope she will This is the I think I'm going to be having a little second here. This is also we were at RDA years ago. Sure, they took Mike. Mike was in the engineering department for years. Mike, you're looking very hot, Nancy. Well, I hope we'll see you up in the line, too. Thank you. You look good. How about that? It's great to work with you, this stuff. And it's encouraging. I'm glad you guys are giving us a smile. It must be something. Thank you very much, Mike. You have to do these things with you. Hello, Rickford. Back to a long and prosperous life. Good to see you. You're looking very good. Let's take a quick pause and we'll come back with more. Well, we've got plenty of time. It's 8.23 on WRVA. We'll take a pause for a few messages to continue with all the big 75th celebration live from church yet. Hello, Bobby. Hello. Good job.
Your kind of sound 